Hello and welcome to this lab demonstration on monitoring CPU performance. At the beginning of this lab, we already need to be familiar with the concept of VMware vSphere E6 top CLI command. In this lab, we will run a single threaded and double threaded workloads in a single CPU and dual CPU VMs, during which we are going to record the statistics of those tests and analyze the test results. I'm sure I provided you enough good reasons to watch the following video on monitoring CPU performance, so let's get started. In our task number one, we are going to run a single threaded program in a single vCPU VM. For our testing purposes, we are going to use a specifically pre-configured VM. So let's go to our SA VCSA 01 V class local SA data center. Let's unwrap our SA compute 01 cluster and let's find the VM, which is called Linux 01 VM. Uh, let's verify that this VM, let's open its settings. Let's verify that Currently, this VM has only one vCPU configured. Let's click OK. And let's verify that this virtual machine is launched, is going to be launched on SA ESXi 04 vClass local. So let's power this virtual machine on. And let's open its web console in our newly created Firefox tab. Let's wait a bit for this VM to actually launch. Then we need to log into it. And then we are going to launch a specifically pre-configured test program. So let's give this virtual machine a couple of seconds to successfully load. Just a couple of seconds. And now it's ready. So let's log in as root. Let's type our password. Now let's verify that we are in a slash root directory. And now we are going to launch a test program. This test program generates database operations to a medium-sized database and writes output to the screen. So let's run this particular test. It's called start test one. Let's wait for a couple of seconds for this program to actually run. Let's see at least one output. Now we can see that our workload is currently generating somewhere around almost 2000 operations per minute. We can see it as the value OPM here. Now this number is increasing a bit. So while this program is going to warm up, let's go to our student desktop. Let's find our multi-party program here. Let's launch it. Now we are going to use an SSH protocol to connect to our SA ESXi 04 ESXi host, which is the compute resource for our VM. So let's double click on it. And now we are connected to our SA ESXi 04. What I'm going to do, I'm going to launch the ESX top utility. For me to be able to find the statistics information, the CPU statistics about my VM. So let's uh, reconfigure the ESX top output. I'm going to press S button and I'm going to uh, set the seconds to delay the value from the default 5 seconds to 10 seconds. And now I'm going to press the combination which is shift plus V. For me to be able to see only the VMs of my interests right now, the Linux 01 VM. 
So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to open a little text file. You may do your recordings anywhere you want. I'm going to show the actual recording uh, in this particular video. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to record the set of values for my single threaded, single vCPU workload. My Linux 01 VM has currently only one vCPU and I have launched a specifically pre-configured test with only one thread. So in what numbers I'm interested in? I'm interested in the value of uh, used CPU resources, of ready resources and idle resources right now. So let's record the average values of them. I see the used value is somewhere around 62%. The ready value is somewhere around, let me type 10. The idle value is somewhere around 36. And also we need to record the OPM level, the operations per minute value from our launched program. So let's go back to our Linux 01. And now I can see the number that is somewhere around 2400 and something. So let me type for the OPM value, let me type average 2000. 400. Let me adjust it a bit. Okay, so these are the records for the current level of a workload. We are going to analyze those numbers a bit later when we can actually, uh, when we will actually be able to compare them with different environment. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to press a Ctrl C combination to stop the start test one program right now and now I'm going to power off my Linux 01 VM for me to be able to reconfigure it. So let's shut down, let me shut down its guest OS. Yes, I know I'm going to lose something if I do not, if I haven't saved that data. Let's wait a bit for Linux 01 to actually shut down. We can refresh the vSphere client to see that our Linux 01 has stopped. Now it has stopped, so let us reconfigure it. Let us change the number of vCPUs of this VM. For doing that, we need to right click on this VM. We need to go to edit settings. And I'm, uh, now I'm going to change the CPU value from one to two. Now my v VM is going to have two vCPUs. Let's click OK to save it. And now we are going to launch this VM again. Let's power it on. Let's launch its web console again. Again, we need to wait a bit for this VM to actually load successfully. Let's wait a bit. Again, it's somewhere around 20 or 30 seconds to wait for us. So while this VM is going to successfully become operable, what we are going to do right now, we are going to start the same test, which again, let me remind you, is a test program that generates database operations to a medium sized database and writes output to the screen. It is still single, single threaded, but now our VM is going to have one additional CPU, one additional vCPU. Let us see how this particular configuration can change our statistics. Again, let's log in. 
Let's log in as root. Let's type our password. Now let's launch this test again. Start test one. Again, let's wait a bit for this particular test to warm up. Let us see at least one statistics record. Now we can see that currently the first try had somewhere around 1200 operations per minute. Let's wait at least one more. Now let's go back to our ESX top utility on our SAE 6 i 4 Now let's reconfigure the ESX top output a bit differently. Let's type the letter E. And now we need to choose the GID identifier of our Linux 01 VM. It is 11199, the second column 439 and let's Type enter. Now we can see the detailed statistics about different consumed resources, different CPU consumed resources by our VM components. And now we are interested in two lines here VM, VMX vCPU 0 and VMX vCPU 1. Two of those CPU which we have configured for our VM. So let, let's record those numbers for our Linux One VM. I'm going to record it in my text file. Uh, so I'm going to record the single threaded statistics for dual vCPU, vCPU 1 and for vCPU 2. So let me type those. Um, our used value for vCPU 0 is somewhere around 25%. The ready value is somewhere around, let me type 25 on average. The idle value is somewhere around 43. I'm going to record the OPM value after the vCPU1. So let me go to vCPU1. On average, it has currently I see the number 31 and now it's 25. So let me type 25 again. Our ready value is somewhere around 15 right now. The idle value is somewhere around currently it's 50, 40. So let me type on average as 40. And let's record the OPM value from our Linux One VM. Uh, let me go back to my Linux VM. Currently I see that OPM value is on average is near 100, 1400 operations per minute. So let me type the value, let's call it the OPM value. Let's record it's like 1000. 470 on average. Okay, so again, we are going to analyze these values just a bit later. Let's reconfigure our test again. Let's stop our test workload. And now we are going to launch the other program. We are going to launch a program which is called start test Two. The difference between the start test 1 and start test 2 is in the number of threads. Our start test 1 is using only one thread and our start test 2 is using two threads. So let's start it and see the difference. Again, let's wait a bit for this program to warm up. It's going to initialize the workload on two threads. Again, let's see, let's wait a bit for us to see at least one or two 
statistics records. I see the first OPM value that is more than 2000 operations per minute. 2221, 2240. Let's wait at least two more of them. 2,110 2,162 Okay, so let's leave this window opened Let's go back to our ESX top statistics And let's record those Again, I have prepared my file to record these statistics for my dual threaded workload in a dual vCPU VM for vCPU 0 and vCPU 1. Again, let's go to our used percent CPU used percent value. For vCPU 0, it is somewhere around 29%. 29 on average. Next, my ready value is somewhere around 23. Just a second. My idle value is somewhere around 29. I'm going to record the OPM level just in a couple of seconds. For my vCPU1, what can I see? I see the value of used percent around currently it's 37 for my ready value it's cpu ready value it's around 17 right now it's not a problem if you see uh, somehow different values but on average they are somewhere near my numbers plus or minus and for my idle value, I see the level of 37%. And let's record the OPM value. Let's go back to my Linux VM. Currently, I see the number which is like 2,500 on average. So let's record it. Again, somewhere near 2,500 on average. So, we have recorded three sets of statistics for single-threaded, single vCPU VM, so single-threaded workload in a single vCPU VM. Again, single-threaded workload in a dual vCPU VM for both vCPUs of that VM and a dual threaded workload in a dual vCPU environment, again, for, v for vCPU 0 and vCPU 1. So let's stop, our st let's stop our workload. And let's return to our... We can actually close our VM. We don't need it anymore. And let's shut down it. Let's shut it down. We don't need it anymore. We have recorded all we want. So let's analyze a bit the statistics we have recorded. You can actually pause this video and draw some conclusions on your own. But now I'm going to discuss it a bit. What can we see here? For our first test, in our first test, we have launched a single threaded workload in a single vCPU VM. We have achieved a level of 62 CPU used percent for this VM with a level of 2400 operations per minute. So it's a quite good number in this particular lab environment for this particular workload that generates some database activity. But when we have added just one vCPU more, uh, which we could add uh, with the idea to add some CPU, additional CPU resources to our VM to generate more operations per minute. 
we have actually achieved a significantly lower level of operations per minute. We have achieved a lower level of CPU used activity with the significantly at, uh, almost twice as low as our first test, which was around our first test was 2400 operations per minute and our second test had only 1470 on average uh, of operations per minute. So adding one more CPU for a typically one threaded workload has made our environment even worse uh, for this particular workload. But when we have launched a dual threaded workload, which is prepared for, uh, which is prepared to be launched in a two CPU environments, we have achieved our good result back somewhere around 2,400 operations per minute with the average level of CPU used for CPU zero, for vCPU zero, somewhere around 30%. And for our vCPU one, again, somewhere around 30%. Our 37% uh, it may be uh, some level of deviation. Uh, we can return to our ES6 stop and we can wait a bit more to see that this value can be a bit bigger, can be a bit lower and so on. So now we can see that the actual number of vCPUs and the actual requirement of a workload for the number of CPUs or number of threads are linked between each other. And we need to actually correctly right size our VMs for our workloads. So the lab is completed. Congratulations, you have completed the monitoring CPU performance lab demonstration video. During this lab, we have run a single threaded program in a single CPU VM and recorded the result. Then we have repeated those steps for a dual CPU VM with a single threaded program. After that, we have run the dual CPU workload in a dual CPU VM. And finally, we have analyzed the test results using the statistics collected by an ES6 top CLI command. Thank you for watching this lab demonstration video. I hope the knowledge acquired here will help you with your daily job assignments and good luck as you continue your journey in VMware world.